All right, guys, take a look at this. This is a BMW R18, 1800 cc's. Take a look at that engine. That thing is wild looking. <laughs> Kickstand goes way out there. All right, so uh, let's see. Power. Pull the clutch. Wow. All right, I got it. <laughs> All right, guys, this is pretty wild. Uh, look where my knees come. Uh, mid controls. Yeah, take a look at that. There's no way you can put forward controls on this thing. <laughs> no way. All right, so before we start, I want to adjust my mirror. Ooh, it went into neutral. Super easy. Super easy going into neutral. Has a little bit of a rumble. Look at that. It almost looks like a Dyna. Quite a bit of shake on the handlebars which is pretty wild. Almost feels like a Harley. <laughs> Seems really super low. Look at, look at how low it is. Almost, it's one of the lowest cruisers. Uh, all right, here we go. Wow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, this is pretty wild. All right. So, seems like the steering is a little bit uh, let's see it seems like it's really flickable let's see blinkers not there's no auto canceling blinkers uh, let's see i gotta get used to this bike all right oh, <laughs> i put my feet down like the pavement's like right there uh, let's see that's weird it almost seemed like it was geared really super high to where uh, I was taken off. It almost seems like I was taken off in second gear, which is pretty wild. <laughs> pretty rough suspension, <laughs> pretty bouncy. Well, I was coming into my car and I noticed that these little, these little bouncy, uh, these little grooves in the road they're pretty pretty rough but yeah this definitely has like a like a cruiser type suspension pretty firm I'd say it's really firm on this thing really super firm that's pretty wild all right so I have to get used to my route here I'm actually gonna take this up on the highway for a little bit up on I-25 we'll get it up to like 65 miles an hour to see how it does. Seat seems pretty firm on this one. <laughs> you give it gas, you can definitely feel a grumble through the, like a rumble through the handlebars, which is pretty wild. No windscreen, so we're getting full on wind. And it is super hot today. It's like 100 degrees out here. <laughs> Super hot. All right, so uh, let's see. Back brakes work really good. Really good. Really good back brakes. Really good front brakes, too. I'm actually surprised how much of a shake this has. Shakes pretty good. So we're going to go up on the highway. This is my first brand new BMW. <laughs> Look at that engine. That's just ridiculous. Uh, Engine's like sticking way out. That's kind of the weird thing about these BMWs is it just sticks way out. That's pretty wild. Looks like it has a really big gas tank too. Pretty simple speedometer there. Really easy to read. This has the needle in the... All right, so let's see. Pretty big friction zone. Let's see. If I can get a... Get used to this beast here. All right, so going around the corners, I feel pretty confident. Wow, there's quite a bit of vibration, road vibration, which is kind of surprising. All right, so we're not gonna go all the way on the highway. 
we're just gonna take this first exit. It is so hot. <laughs> it feels like 120 degrees out here on this highway. Woo. Pretty good. <laughs> a lot of wind. It's a pretty, feels like, I don't know if it's a windy day or not. I guess it's a little bit windy. Yeah, we're like, we're like, top, we're going 70. Wow. Wow. That's surprising. Feels like a, it feels pretty good for 70. But, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it definitely has a firm suspension. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. Wow. All right, so the, the seat, even though it's like super firm, doesn't really hurt me too bad. It looks like maybe the blinkers auto canceled on this one. Let's see. Let's see if I can figure out how to get back to... <laughs> oh, that's weird. So I put a, a blinker on and it flashes both blinkers. Almost looks like I have my hazards on. Uh, there's not like a left and a right indicator. There's just an indicator that I have one or the other on. Oh, it's it's kind of hard to get used to the, uh, the friction zone there. It's, it has an interesting sound to it. Definitely does not sound like a Harley Davidson. More of kind of like a like a whiny sound or something like that. It's just a it's an interesting bike. My my knees are so high up. <laughs> It's a huge bike, but I feel like uh, my knees are just so high up. You know, I'm six foot four, 230 pounds. Uh, let's see. I have to do, let's see if I can figure out where I'm going here. I don't have my GPS going, so. Pretty firm on the road. Really firm. I'd say probably the firmness, I'd say it, uh, even the Lowrider S, I think, has a better suspension than this. This thing is pretty firm. I'd say it's better than a, like a like a, an Iron 1200. But it's probably one of the firmest rides that I've been on for a cruiser, which is kind of surprising. I thought BMWs would be smoother than the Harleys. This is pretty wild. As far as the turning, it feels really super planted, really stable. But the kind of the funny thing is, even though it's a big bike, it feels like it's uh, feels like it's a smaller bike. That's the, the blinkers are just weird. You put you put the blinker on, and it looks like you have the hazards on. <laughs> That's one thing; it's, it's kind of hard to get used to on this bike. Oh, let's see. Plenty of power. Super fast. Not fast like a sport bike, but I'd say pretty fast for, you know, like a cruiser. You'd have to convert, uh, I don't know how many cubic inches that is. I can put it down in the specs. Pretty wild bike. <laughs> that engine, though. It's just kind of like the, the engine just kind of flopped over and it's just kind of hanging out, which is pretty wild. As far as like being, uh, seems like it's not as top heavy as a Harley Davidson. Uh, the other thing is, oh, look at that. The, the pegs are actually spring loaded. That's another thing I'm always worried about as far as mid controls. You know, being so tall, I'm always trying to, uh, get forward controls and this one there's no forward there's no way you could do forward controls wow just just taking off taking off it's, it seems really rough because it kind of shakes the bike from the vibration <laughs> which is pretty wild 
Uh, auto, you have to auto, you have to cancel the blinkers. That's one thing you have to do. Uh, let's see, I think this is where I want to turn. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, I'd say the turning is not that great on this bike. Of course, I haven't really had that much time to get used to it. I think with a little more practice. Uh, the other thing I found with, uh, with a lot of the turning is, all right, so I'm gonna turn here is that if you have, uh, if you kind of switch on a bike with a different center of gravity like this one, it takes a lot more uh, experience. It takes a lot more practice to get used to the turning on a bike like this. So just kind of, uh, you know, turn it around like in a parking lot. As a matter of fact, I think I'm gonna go around. I'll give you a little tour of what they got here. Go around the parking lot here a little bit. It's just weird, the turning, because <laughs> it's not quite, it's not like like your regular turn, like on a Harley Davidson that you start turning and then the, the top of the engine just kind of flops over because it's more of a top heavy bike. So it's, it's, it's a different dynamic as far as the turning. And mainly it's because you have this kind of a sideways engine that kind of changes the whole dynamic of the bike which is pretty wild <laughs> that's just that's just really hard to get used to kind of like cat walking this thing like duck walking it and uh having that kind of like right there that's just that's just wild i've seen these engines but that's the first time i ever ever drove one let's see turn the power off so this is the power button, like your ignition switch. Then you have to have the clutch in, in order to start it, and to start it, you just hit that red button. So there you go, guys. That is the R18 from BMW, the 2021. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for coming along, and I will see you in the next video.